Hi guys, Scott here from Flying Brick AU. I'm just going to show you a homemade manometer I've just kicked up. Um, show you how I made it and walk you through the parts. I've done a bit of research on it and tried a few different methods. I started with just a four tuber. Um, this is for a K1100 with four throttle bodies. This thing seemed to suck all of the liquid um, automatic transmission fluid straight out of throttle body one. I just could not balance them whatsoever. So I ended up, after a bit of research, I found this one here that had a bit of a reservoir down the bottom, which I've made out of 50 mil pipe that I had left over in the garage. A couple of uh, pipe ends on it. I did use um, high pressure glue and prime and everything to uh, make sure she sealed properly. From there, I actually not long ago you'll see these little grommet things here which are these babies here I just replaced my solar pool heating not long ago and they come with these grommets for the uh, the tube and then these connectors so I had a few of them left over so I drilled the six mil hole and punched them in um, put the connector in from there I've gone and bought two coils of this clear tube in from Bunnings or your local hardware store Probably about, I think they were $9 a roll, so it was about $20 all up. Um, I had the pegboard already left over, so anything will do, I guess. Bit of timber, MDF, whatever. And I had some automatic transmission fluid left over. So I think you needed roughly 250 mil, 300 mil for this setup. So anyway, it's pretty simple, guys. You just um, obviously put your four inlets in tie them up. I've done a long length of hose as you can see, it's about two and a half meters per length just so I didn't suck any ATF into the actual throttle bodies if it was out. From there I'm using a little uh, joiner that I also got from the hardware shop and I've gone down to four mil hose which is a perfect fit onto the TBs. I put an inline filter in to start with because of that problem that I was having with throttle body one uh, sucking all the fluid out. But in the end, I've had to open them because I actually, um, what I found is after a bit more research, I never bench tuned the throttle bodies. Now, I don't know what's happened before me, but when I took them out, I'll try and post pictures of it as well. Um, TB1 and 4 had massive gaps in there, whereas 2 and 3 were virtually almost closed. I did this by shining a little uh, headlamp, head torch up in the, the bottom of the TBs and then just adjusted the screws. The, the screws that shall not be touched, but I've touched them anyway. I got it pretty much the same amount of light coming through each TB. Um, and to my amazement, when I've fired her back up, she's pretty balanced. I've had to do a little bit with the air mixture screws, and vacuum screws. But yeah, it's, um, it's working fine. Like this is probably a I don't know, thirty dollars of material max. That's thirty Australian dollars. Probably a, that's about one cent US at the moment. Um, a lot cheaper than a, a carb tune that I was looking to land here for about one hundred and eighty dollars. So anyway, I'll fire her up. You'll see at the start the, there is a bit of air bubbles and so forth. But I think maybe if you had a bigger resi, that wouldn't happen. But it will. Uh, it will settle down. There we go. I must mention that I have actually warmed the bike up previously, obviously. You want to get this bike to um, operating temperature. So, right now you can see there's a bit of fluctuation until everything levels out. A few more air bubbles. We'll let that settle down and give it a, a couple of a couple of minutes maybe. And uh, we'll see how she goes. But previous to this, I just ramp up the choke a bit or the, the throttle advance. Previous to doing this virtually I would have nothing left in uh, TB3. Uh, TB1 and TB4 were just sucking the life out of everything. So we'll let her just balance out a little bit and give it a couple of blips. Starting to settle now. As you can see, we're sort of getting close to where we want to be. Good 
Thanks for looking guys and uh, hope it helps. See ya.